I think I've been exploring Islam all my life and the uh, uh, fascinating thing is I never thought of going into education until circumstances dictated that uh, immigrant children who came to the country needed somebody to talk to them in their own language and somebody said to me why don't you talk to these children and that's how it started and uh, I have never regretted it because my father wanted me to be a doctor and now that I've spent my life nearly 40 years in this country uh, within education uh, first as a teacher 11 years in Liverpool and then as an inspector uh, of schools and local authorities and now I've been doing Ofsted inspections since 1993. So all that has been quite a rich and I feel privileged um, uh, way of living because what is better than following the footsteps of the Prophet? Because he was the best teacher. And when I reflect on it, I've spent my life as a teacher and that is absolutely wonderful. It really is satisfying to feel that at least you're doing something for future generations. The first words that he was given by God Almighty was Iqra, which means recite. And really it is sometimes translated as read. That's the beginning of education. So the Prophet inspired us to educate ourselves. He was inspired and he is, he's inspired humanity to take up that responsibility to gain knowledge from the cradle to the grave. The first thing to remember is that when I reflect on all the prophets who came to educate humanity from Adam alayhi salam, the first prophet, Adam who was the first human being, to the last of the prophets, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. Um, then of course it's important to engage oneself with the way that they, those prophets taught us how to live a life on earth. And I think the last of the prophets perfected a way in which humanity can gain an insight into the best way to spend one's gift of life. It is a gift. It's a privilege to be born in this world, to stay, to live, to actually promote humanity and to contribute something to humanity. I'm not saying that I am going to contribute very much, but nevertheless, it is that which inspires you to carry on doing what you have chosen to do. And it gives you a great deal of satisfaction to know that you're doing something that humanity can only gain from. They do say that, you know, if you've got wealth and you spend it, it's gone. But if you've got knowledge and you spend it, you only increase it. Go out there and do good deeds because the best deed is to go and educate somebody, inform somebody, share what you know, knowledge, information, awareness about life. Share that with others. Not because you want to earn a crust and a living, but because you think that is your duty, responsibility, and that is the way in which you can help others.